I'm standing as a candidate probably for two reasons. Um, one, because I think I could do a very good job at representing the people of Edinburgh West. Um, I think their voices have been ignored over the past three years and I think I could do a very good job of standing up for them there. Um, I'm also sta standing as a candidate in Edinburgh West uh, because I think we need more women in politics and specifically young women and the more people from different backgrounds and different experiences they can bring the better decisions that we can see being made at Westminster. Um, so my background is actually in theatre. I've been a theatre director and producer in various different capacities in the Lyceum, at the Traverse, at the Edinburgh Festival. Um, I recently just produced the first ever LGBT playwright festival. Um, and then in addition to that, I've also worked for several politicians. Um, I've worked for Christian Allard, um, Ben McPherson, who's the MSP for Edinburgh North and Leith. And I've most recently ran the office of Gordon MacDonald's MSP. I think, I mean, one of the biggest things that's, that keeps getting brought up is Brexit. And it's inevitable because it's dominating the conversation. But once you get to move past that and see where the conversation and where people's priorities lay after that, once we get to escape this mess, um, it's things like transport, transport in Edinburgh West um, in various different capacities through improved bus services that are needed across the constituency um, and then also looking to re reduce congestion, have better cycle paths, have better pedestrian areas for people to pick more sustainable modes of getting about the city and more active travel routes. Um, and obviously what that's going to contribute to as well is something that people are speaking to me about a lot, climate change. And as we look to tackle this, what we need to be doing is making sure that we have public transport and active travel that is more accessible to people so it's the easy option to choose. Um, I suppose we're also looking at protecting our NHS, um, trying to get more increased powers for the Scottish Parliament around drug policy, around immigration, um, trying to push the UK government to meet Scotland's uh, targets on climate change and step up to its kind of global responsibility on that. There's a lot of kind of progressive policies that we're putting forward at this election, but I think what is ultimately at the heart of this is deciding who has a say over our future. Is it us or Boris Johnson?